Right, let's do a part two or follow up to the propagating of Arando Danex or Spanish reed. So this is the variegated variety we're looking at here. Um, I guess if you're watching this video you're familiar with the plant itself. So we've got a bit of a clump going on near the fence here. Um, some of the new canes this year probably don't pick up too much on video but they're already over two meters and the ones that are closer to three meters plus uh, from last year right so they, they they're tall leafy versions of bamboo without being too invasive but let's get to the point that i done a video three weeks ago I chopped the cane down, cut it into chunks, a node on each chunk, and put it into water. So, this is part two. This is what they look like now. So, from after, I think the first video was after a week of cutting them, you know, a week after I cut the, the canes themselves, and we had some little sprouts. But this is three weeks or two weeks on from that. And this is what we've got. So just a tub of water kept in a greenhouse so it's nice and warm. Top it up. It evaporates pretty quick in a greenhouse so you're constantly topping up so it keeps the, the water fresh in that sense anyway. And I said I weren't going to pot these up until we get some roots. So I don't know if you can see that in the water there. But that is full of roots so let's pull one out and have a look. In fact, they're, they're, they're intertwined, the roots, but you can see there's a good lot of root growing there. So what's going to happen is I'll divide these up, maybe put two or three canes in each pot. So it'll be a nice full pot. And I've got plenty of 20 or so canes, or part canes in there. Um, it's all full of root, really rooted out well. Like I say, just three weeks after cutting, that's what you can get. So we'll pop these up, and what will happen is obviously the, the original bit of cane will rot away eventually, and you'll just have the little plants take over. And by the end of the year, you could get up to, I don't know, four foot. And obviously, next year, when the growing season comes around again, you'll start getting. A more decent sized plant so as the root system grows and obviously the plant can grow and get to the appropriate size for the root ball so I guess in two or three years you could have a good size three meter plus clump like that I've got so yes yeah, so I'm gonna untangle all these uh, roots pop these up and uh, that's sort of job done really, to watch them grow. So that is how to propagate Rando Danix. Um, like I say, full explanation. This was a bit of a brief one, just an update. Full explanation on the original video done a couple of weeks ago. So if you want a more in-depth look at that, how I've done it, then go back and watch that one. Um, interestingly, I didn't mention this at the time, but with Rando Danix, you do get some uh, side shoots come off the main cane as well. And I thought, as I was cutting the cane down, I had nothing to lose, so I cut these side shoots off. Never tried it before, didn't know if it would work, so that's why I didn't mention it at the time. But um, So yeah, all these side roots, which uh, again, a good 20 or 30 there. I thought I'd stick them in water and see what happens. And that is what happens. So basically, you see there's root on there and it's grown a new stem. So what I will do with these, I'll leave them a bit longer to get a bit more root. And then cut the original large piece off. And you, you should have just a couple of, uh, or just one little growth point there. So if you stick uh, three or four of them in a pot, you've got another Pot there so a bit of material I was going to throw away let's give you another example so 
so for a piece yeah, it's getting tangled up the piece that I was going to throw away we've got root and new growth so yeah always pays to experiment with these things so the, the cane itself is tried and tested to, to cut a couple of inch to three four inch whatever piece of cane with a node that's definitely going to work as you can see but this I weren't sure about so I didn't mention in the vid mi original video but um yeah that also works so that is another another option if you don't want to cut down a whole cane and you just want to neaten up the plant you've got stick the offshoots in water and that's what you get easy way to propagate without actually losing your main cane right I hope that was uh, informative for you I mean I've never tried like I say the, the second way of propagating which is like I say just cutting the side roots off but um, seems to work as well so there's two ways there to propagate your Spanish reed and you can see new foliage looks nice and plenty of variegation in it. It's looking good. Get them potted up. Plenty more plants for next year. Thanks for watching.